Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day so far. Not sure what I was doing with my hands there. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about fashion to figure. What happened to them, where they drifted off to, and also discuss the unbelievable prices for the garments on their website. Cause whoa, Nelly. So while I was doing research for plus size fashion content here on my channel, I thought that I would check in with an oldie but goodie, a brand that I hardly ever see being discussed in the YouTube space anymore. I honestly don't think anybody talks about fashion to figure on any social media platforms. And I didn't realize that Fashion to Figure was actually acquired through like a bankruptcy auction in August of 2020. So <laughs> while we were like knee deep in the pandemic and COVID and all that stuff, they were being bought out and also New York and Company, which was a brand that I absolutely loved back in the day for any of my like workwear attire. And yet another example of a mall brand just disappearing into oblivion. <laughs> I'm only just like, four years late to the party here. <laughs> but there seems to be a lot of moving parts, lots of acquisitions within the fashion industry these days. Express and Bonobos just sold outside of bankruptcy for like $174 million. This was just in June. And then Rue 21, Ted Baker, even Joanne's Fabrics. They sell the textiles to make the clothes and they can't even make it. And if I was a betting woman, y'all, I would definitely add Eloquy and Eloquy Elements. They're not even being sold on the walmart.com website anymore. Um, the Real Real and Rent the Runway, they are definitely on the cusp. Like it's a tumultuous time out there right now. I mean, it doesn't help that there's an entire TikTok genre dedicated to people who've been scammed out of money and products by the real real and rent the runway so there's that but circling back to fashion to figure this is a brand that at least on the surface anyways looked like it had steady footing so they had like lots of celebrity collaborations and of course the youtube collaborations which one of the biggest celebrity collaborations was with gabrielle union which was huge in my opinion and one of the reasons why i even checked out the brand in the first place and then of course gabby fresh Sarah Ray Vargas, Patrick Starr, I think was one of the last ones. And I'm sure that none of the names mentioned were cheap collabs, but you know, <laughs> that's none of my business. That's neither here nor there. But the subplot of me creating this whole entire video was to say that if you enjoyed fashion to figure clothes and style, I would say it's probably like a, like a hodgepodge of plus size bodycon meets Jawbreakers, if you're familiar with that movie of the 90s with Rose McGowan and the girl from the Noxzema commercials. What was her name? Ah, I can't remember. <laughs> Rebecca Gayhart. That's the name I was trying to say. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Smile pretty, Courtney. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> every single thing on the Fashion to Figure website is on mega clearance. So if you have something that retails for like $150, it's gonna be like $9.99, $10.99, $13.99. It is pretty freaking amazing. I mean, like everything is final sale, which, you know, is understandable, but you could rack up a whole entire wardrobe for pennies on the dollar, like literally. So if you're interested in what fashion to figure has to offer, but you just don't have time or you don't want to sit there on the website and scroll and scroll and scroll endlessly, then this portion of the video is gonna be right up your alley because I'm gonna show you every single thing that I picked up personally in the sale. Now you're not gonna see it as a try on because I'm pre-filming this, it hasn't come in yet. So by the time you're watching this, I'm gonna be out on leave for surgery, but I'm gonna show you all the things that I think are gonna be a steal of a deal. And I'm gonna show you in like a slideshow format with like different pictures and stuff. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna be starting off with the jeans first. Y'all know I'm a jeans girl through and through. So if I can find a good pair of jeans for cheaper than I can at Walmart, I am so on that. <laughs> so I picked up this pair of black wide-legged jeans for $15.99, regularly priced $79.99. So a great discount. I also picked up these light wash jeans with really interesting waist detail and the seams going down the front. They're different <laughs> and they're $13.99. So I thought it was well worth the risk in my opinion. And I picked up these in a size 20 and I picked up the black jeans in a size 18. So I'm filming this 
two weeks in advance. So I'm not really sure if things are gonna be picked over. So definitely check out the links in the description box or just check out the Fashion to Figure website. This pair also really stuck out to me. I'm absolutely loving the cargo and the extra buckles and the zippers. And if I can remember correctly, this is a style that I despised <laughs> a couple of years ago, but you know, we're growing, we're changing every day, am I right? Unfortunately for me, they did sell out in my size, so I kind of missed out in this one, but they do still have them in blue in a size 16 only. So if you're a size 16, if you're lucky enough, definitely check in on that. But I figured that this video would be a value because fall is just around the corner and they have a ton of fall and winter sweaters to choose from. Case in point, this sage lace-up sweater for $9.99. And it's pieces like this that have the little details that are just special. It makes it interesting and special, and this is it. Another great example is this fringe hem sweater. I bought this, even though it's kind of hard to make out the details because the picture is so inky black, but the fringe and tassels, I mean, <laughs> Need I say more? I also thought that this creamy white sweater was incredibly chic, especially from the front because it has that interesting cutout. But when you turn it around, the bottom half on me, it just looks too much like a sweater dress and it just gives me too much volume in the back and I just look too dang on wide. I think I was an actual tit hair away <laughs> from picking up this one, y'all. Like how gorgeous is this neckline, oh my goodness, like the model looks like a goddess. I just can't get over it, but I just didn't want to take really big risks when it's a final sale deal. So I didn't pick it up. I did, however, pick up this flannel shacket, which are they even called shackets anymore? I really don't know, but <laughs> I saw it on the model. She looked incredible and so I had to pick it up. It was regularly priced $100, I got it for 10. And the only problem that I foresee having with this one is I didn't realize that it had like a slogan on the back. So I'm probably gonna remove that somehow. <laughs> so, and I may ruin it, so stay tuned for that. I would like to add one thing to this conversation because not everything on the Fashion to Figure website is gonna be cute, like case in point, this striped jumpsuit, good golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> now let's talk about something that I've actually had my eye on for probably two winters at this point, and that is this Sherpa coat. And I never bit the bullet on it because it was regularly priced at $300, and I finally was able to purchase it at 54, and it's just so pretty. It looks so luxurious and so warm and snuggly, and I mean, I've, I've actually had this in my cart and then out of my cart for probably two years now, at least that's what I think. <laughs> Life is a blur. I don't even know what time is anymore. It's like traveling at ludicrous speed, but the savings is real and I, I had to get it. Pro tip, the website is very much like Starbucks. They actually have a secret menu. <laughs> so if you go to like the dress tab and then hit all dresses, it'll show you probably like a hundred dresses that they have available. But if you go to the search bar and then type dresses, it opens up a world of opportunity. And you could totally do that with other stuff as well. So get creative. <laughs> and just in case you're curious, the sales extend to the New York and Company website as well. So the party ain't just for the plus size gals. <laughs> it extends to everybody and you can always like narrow your search to XXL on the New York and Company website and that will be the like equivalent to a size 20. So just FYI there. Their sweaters are to die for. I'm telling you like this geometric printed sweater paired with the wide legged black jeans that I showed y'all earlier, like that's a $20 outfit. And you can also get gifts on the website because they have like pajama sets, they have like winter pajama sets, they have Christmas pajama sets. They have amazing shoes for fall and winter like these boots or these boots or these boots. And now finally, <laughs> let's go back to the Fashion to Figure website to talk about this hot pink gem of a dress. I am telling you, this is one of the cutest dresses that I've seen in a really long time. I love the color. I love the cut. I love the one shoulder. And this was originally in my shopping cart, but I removed it at the last minute because I just wasn't sure about the fabric. I just don't know how I trust it and the fact that there are no reviews to reference or anything like that. But I will say <laughs> that this for a Christmas party with like Kelly green heels and like fresh dewy makeup with like green glitter on the eyes 
would be absolutely amazing. Like, yes, indeed. <laughs> the deals are definitely dealing on the Fashion of Figure and New York and Company website, and I could not be more excited about it. And I hear of nobody talking about it. So it's really interesting. And with prices as high as they are in my like everyday life, it's always nice to find a little bargain or two. You know what I mean? All right, y'all, that is going to do it for this Fashion to Figure video. I hope y'all found this video helpful, enjoyable, and a little bit entertaining. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I always appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe and stay healthy in this wild, crazy, weird world that we're living in. And I'm going to be seeing y'all very, very soon. Bye.